Fam, it's Alex Vanover and welcome back to my craft room. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to work with StarCraft Electrofoil. Electrofoil, or just known as foil, is one of my favorite HGBs to work with because the patterns and colors that the foils come in are so beautiful. But a lot of crafters are intimidated by it because the foil is a two-step process, but it's not intimidating and it's not difficult to do, and I'm going to prove that to you in this tutorial. So let's jump in and get started. So to get started with our foil project, the first step is to set up the file in Cricut Design Space for the Caesar Easyweed Adhesive HTV. This is the HTV that we're going to apply to the shirt before the foil, and the foil will only stick in the areas of the HTV. So I'm just gonna use this really fun file. It says Kind Vibes Only, and it looks super cute. I'm really excited about using this file because I'm gonna be using some of the patterned electrofoil. And so these thicker areas around the words are gonna show off that pattern really well. But the first step is to size the design for the size of shirt that I'm using. And I'm going to be putting this design on an adult large shirt. So I'm gonna make it 10 inches wide, and that makes it pretty tall as well. So I might make it a little bit smaller, maybe go like nine and a half. I don't like to go much smaller than that just because I don't want it to look shrunken on an adult shirt. So I'm gonna stick with this nine and a half inch wide so that it's about 11 inches high and we're good to go. So we'll click the green make it button. And whenever you're working with the Caesar Easyweed Adhesive HTV, you're just going to work with it the way that you would work with any other heat transfer vinyl. So that means that I am going to mirror my design and then click continue. And once the machine connects, next we can choose our cut setting. And on my Cricut Maker, I always use Everyday Iron On, just like I do for all the other typical HTVs like StarCraft Softlex, Caesar Easyweed, and all that kind of stuff. So this is going to work great. All right, I'm gonna hop over to my Cricut and cut the adhesive HTV, and then I'll see you guys over at my craft table. So next it's time to cut our Caesar Easyweed Adhesive HTV. And I know that it can be a little bit confusing because this adhesive looks so clear. So you're gonna cut it just like normal heat transfer vinyl with the shiny side down. And that's of course the carrier sheet like it always is. So it's pretty obvious which side is glossy and when, which side is not. So you're gonna put that glossy or that shiny side down on the mat. And then you can allow your Cricut to cut it just like it normally would. Next, it's time to weed our adhesive HTV. Since the adhesive HTV can be pretty hard to see, my biggest tip for you when weeding it is to get as much light overhead as possible. So if you can add an extra desk lamp or something like that over top of um, the vinyl as you're weeding it, it'll be much easier to see the cut lines. And there you have it. So now let's move over to my heat press so I can show you how to press the adhesive and the foil. So before we get started, I have my heat press set at 305 degrees for 15 seconds, and the pressure is medium to firm, which means that it takes a little bit of effort to open up 
my heat press because the foil needs a little bit more pressure, similar to um, how you would set your heat press for glitter HTV. And if you have a heat press that is recommended when you use the foils, it can be done with an easy press for sure. It just takes a little bit more effort and I have had a lot more success using my heat press. So the first thing we need to do is center the adhesive on the shirt and tack it down for five seconds. So I'm going to use my t-shirt ruler to help me align my decal. And I folded my adhesive HTV right down the center so that I have a center line to follow so I can line it up with the t-shirt ruler. But usually when the design starts a little lower, kind of like this one does, I like to move it up a little closer than three inches so it doesn't end up looking too low on the shirt. So we'll do something like that. I'll remove my ruler out of the way and then I'll move it so that all of the adhesive is on the heat press. And I also like to move the collar off the back of the press as well to make sure that the decal gets plenty of pressure. So I'll lower my heat press down and tack for five seconds. And then after you tack the adhesive HTV, you can pull off the carrier sheet. And you can do that part as hot as you want to. You don't need to let it cool. But when we get to pressing the foil, we will have to let it cool for quite a bit before we pull it off the shirt. I'm gonna be using the Starcraft Electra foil in the pattern Roses. Let me show you guys how gorgeous this pattern is. All of the foil patterns are so pretty and they just make the design so interesting. I absolutely love working with them. So the nice part about our adhesive already being tacked down is it's already aligned on the shirt and we don't really need to worry about that part. We're just going to arrange it so that all the adhesive is on the shirt. And again, the collar is hanging off the back of the heat press so it's not messing up any of the pressure. And then we're gonna lay our entire sheet of foil all the way over the design so that foil is touching every part of the adhesive. And then I'm gonna lower my heat press down and let it go for the whole 15 seconds. And now we're good to go. Now, this is one of the most important rules to remember about working with electrofoil is that the foil must be absolutely completely cold before you pull it off of the shirt. Not cool, actually cold. So I recommend moving it away from the heat press, maybe even walking away from it for a few minutes so that you're not tempted. Because some of the problems that I see that are the most common is that the foil may have a little bit of a distressed look. And typically the two issues that I see that are the most common with that are either the foil did not have enough pressure when it was pressed or the person pulled the foil off before it was completely cold. So I'm gonna set this aside and let it cool and then we'll peel it off together. So before I pull off my electrofoil and reveal my design to you, let's talk about a couple of different strategies for cooling down your foil a little bit faster. Because like I said, it literally has to be cool to the touch before you pull the foil off. And one strategy that I have found that works for me is after I think it's cool enough, I wait another couple of minutes just to make absolutely certain because I know we're all excited and we wanna see the results of our work. So a couple things you can do to cool your foil down a little bit faster are first to put your foil up against a wall or a window very gently. So the foil is definitely stuck on here after you do the final press. So if you gently put it up against some glass on a window or a wall, it's typically a little bit cooler than the room and it can help draw some of the heat out. 
Another strategy you can use is if you have a tile floor or a like granite countertop or some kind of stone, that usually tends to be a little bit cool as well. And you can lay your shirt over top of tile or something like granite, and that can help draw some of the heat out a little bit faster as well. So my final tip for you when peeling off your foil is that you need to rip it off like a band-aid. Do not be timid and do not go slow because that can distress your foil as well. You want to totally rip it off quickly like a band-aid. So let's see how my shirt turned out. You guys, look how pretty that is. I love the pattern of the roses in this design because it's actually thick enough where you can see it. If you end up getting any areas around your edges like me that look like they're a little bit, um, I don't know, <laughs> like they're still a little bit left hanging over, you can just kind of scratch it away with your nail because the foil is only going to stick in areas where there is adhesive. So if there's no adhesive that's not supposed to be there, it's not going to hurt anything for you to very gently remove it yourself. A really common question that I get about StarCraft Electrofoil is how does it hold up in the wash? And I have shirts that I have washed, I would say upwards of 50 times with StarCraft Electrofoil and I have been wearing them for at this point, um, probably over three years and they look absolutely perfect just like the day they were pressed. So I love working with this stuff because not only is it beautiful, obviously, but it's super durable and not too hard to work with. If you decide to make anything using my tutorials, whether it's working with electrofoil or something else, and you share it out on Instagram, please use the hashtag DIYAlex so that I can see what you're crafting because that's one of my favorite things about what I get to do. And if you've made it this far in the video, then I really want to get to know you on social media. So please search for me at DIY Alex Vanover on pretty much all major social media platforms. And I'll also put direct links to my profiles down in the description below. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more just like it, then be sure to subscribe to the DIY Alex YouTube channel and be sure to ring the bell so that you get notified every single time that I put out a new video every single week. But don't wait for next week's video. Be sure to check out this one next. Or if you want to make your DIY dreams come true, be sure to check out this video. I know that you're going to love it.